How's it going everyone? Brodosam here. So uh, as you might have heard, the PS4 emulator Shad PS4 is now able to boot Bloodborne with the graphics and actually go into the uh, character creation menu. Uh, this is the first ever PS4 uh, emulator that boots Bloodborne with graphics and you can actually see and interact with the menu and go into the character creation menu but it crashes at that point you cannot go further so in this video i'm going to be showing you how to set up this emulator to test bloodborne on it so uh the first thing that you have to do is download this file right here this zip file this is the only file that can boot bloodborne and uh, go into the, the menus uh, for now uh, the developers might make it available later but for now this is the only file that can boot bloodborne and go into the uh, menu so make sure to download this file i'm going to leave a link down in the uh, description uh, the next thing that you have to do you you need to have bloodborne package so i cannot show you where to get that but you have to have the bloodborne fake package once you have the bloodborne fake package what you have to do is uh, you can use two ways to extract the uh, fake package you can use the package editor so you open package editor and then you go to file and then you go to open and then you will click on bloodborne make sure it's the big game 30 gigabyte not the update so you click on open okay because I have it open here so once you click on open you will see this here this menu here and you just click on export to GP4 and you're gonna select a location where you're gonna extract the uh, game so make sure you have enough size to uh, extract the game so this is one way to do this the second way is by using uh, shad ps4 itself to do that you have to go to the github page and then go to actions and then you can download one of the releases here which has to be the windows qt and make sure it's green it's passed so don't you can't download this because there is no release so make sure to download the windows qt or you can use just the official release which is the uh, 0 0.1.0 0. it also works this one right here it also works so once you have the shad ps4 uh, downloaded go ahead and uh, extract it Now double click on the uh, Shad PS4EXE, okay? You should see this menu here telling you to select a directory. Click on that and uh, you should select a directory where you will install the games. So make sure that you select a directory that has uh, a lot of space on it because if you install games, uh, they will expand in size. Some of them will be larger so make sure to select a drive that you have space on it so for example I select this folder here and click on select folder click OK and I'm gonna allow it through the firewall allow access and we are done with this step now what you have to do is go to file and then click on install packages go to the ps4 fake package the base package here you select it and then click open make sure it's the big file 30 gigabyte not the update and now just click on open and it should start installing now this process here will take a long time or shorter time depending on your PC setup but this one here will take a long time so uh, don't panic if it looks like it's freezing so uh, after a while the package will reach 100% and uh, the game will be successfully installed at the location that you've selected now this here uh, is just for extracting the game because the game does not run currently on this build uh, it doesn't run on this build yet, so this is just for extracting the game. Uh, you can use the other package editor to actually extract the game. Now, uh, extract the build file here. Now, double click on the uh, exe file and it's going to create a new folder for you here. So, double click on that. 
okay the folder has been created now what we have to do is type cmd here and hit enter okay drag the emulator exe here and now you need to go to where you extracted bloodborne and hold down the shift key and then right click and select copy as path go back to the cmd file the cmd page and paste it here and hit enter now when you do this uh, it's gonna crash this is just to create the uh, options file here this is gonna crash so once you see the splash screen here this means that the game is gonna crash and we're gonna have to go to the user okay the splash screen is here which means the game is gonna crash for now the latest version of the emulator makes the game crash when there's a splash screen so we have to change this from the uh, options file here in the user folder okay I'm just gonna wait for it to crash okay it stopped it's gonna crash okay so go to the user folder and open the config file now change this splash screen to false and then we're gonna change okay we're gonna change the dump sh the shaders to true and then enable the Vulkan validation there you go go to file and save now we're gonna go back here and repeat the same process CMD enter drag the exe here and we're gonna paste bloodborne eboot location and hit enter now you should not see a splash screen and you should see the log file here moving once it starts moving this should be a black screen for a few minutes for a while and then you should see the game booting so this is how you know the game is gonna work okay black screen while the log file is moving this means that the game is about to boot okay give it a moment and it will boot uh, now this whole process as you see it's just temporary this will be added later to the GUI and this is just for testing for now this is just it seems like it's a lot of process but later it might be added to the uh, GUI okay so on the keyboard the X button is the number two the numpad number two it, it's used as the X button to confirm and to select while the arrows are used for navigation it's not WASD it's actually the arrows used for navigation and we're waiting for the game to boot we should see Sony interactive entertainment soon uh, it's all in red for now it might be fixed later all right there you have it So we're going to use the X button for confirmation, the two, number two as X button and number six as the circle. All right, play online, play offline. We're going to select play offline, update and save data. Save data has been created. Go down to the system, controls, environment brightness network for example go to controls adjusting camera control or vibration okay brightness all right now we're just going to click on new game adjusting the brightness Click on next. All right. Camera sensitivity. 
auto target switch just navigating through the menu hit next and it now it's going to crash in the character creation menu and there you have it so uh, that's how you test bloodborne on pc with the shad ps4 emulator uh, that's just as far as you can go you cannot go into game just just right now so that's as far as you can go so uh, one important thing that you have to know is that if you have a PC with 4 gigabyte of RAM what you have to do is go to the system properties and you need to increase the page and file to 8 gigabyte or more if you don't do this the game will crash once you open the emulator it will instantly crash it will not even run Sonic or or we are doomed or any other simple game if you do not increase the page in size the page and file size here and to save you the headache just make sure to check system manage size and it's going to take as much space as it needs to boot the emulator now if you want to test the emulator with other games it's actually much much easier with the qt version so we're going to extract this here and like we saw in the beginning of this video we're going to double click on the emulator it's going to give you this directory to install games and we're going to select a location where games are extracted this folder here select it and we're going to click ok it's loading the games and there you have it now what you have to do is simply select the game and click on play and it should boot so as simple as this Now there are a few things that you can do here. You can go to the settings, for example, and you can change the install directory. Okay, you can go here and check the packages and you can also change the themes. Go to view, themes, make it dark or make it blue-ish. You can also change how you see the games. Grid view, like this change it to list view you can also refresh once you add more games game list icons tiny small medium large like this and change it to grid view it's actually not changing with this oh it's changing Okay, so <laughs> that's how you do it. Let's try Risk of Rain. I don't think it works. Oh, it does. Okay. If you found this uh, tutorial helpful, make sure to hit that like button. Hit that subscribe button so you don't miss any tutorials and any news. That's it. Take care. See you soon.